Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video and in today's video I want to do a very simple demonstration of how Power Query can save you and your business tons of time, energy, and money. On the left side of my screen is a sales record spreadsheet that is, as you can see here in the middle, 27.5 megabytes in size. Every time I double click on this spreadsheet, it takes multiple seconds to open and it takes multiple seconds to change or to save. And that's because this spreadsheet contains sales records from 2010 through 2019, over 300,000 records of data. And the problem is that if you need to do a report on 2018 or 2019, you're very often opening this spreadsheet and then copying out the relevant data, which duplicates the data. It also wastes a ton of time and means that you're constantly editing the source file that's probably got the simple source of truth. Instead, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close the sales record spreadsheet and for the 2018 report, I'm simply going to go to the data tab at the top of the screen, choose the get data drop down menu and get the data from a workbook. This is Power Query even though you haven't seen the term Power Query used yet. When I click on from workbook, I specify where that workbook lives. You can see here, here's my sales record spreadsheet. Again, almost 28 megs in size. I can then pull anything I want from that spreadsheet. But there's only one list of information on the transaction table. As you can see, there's some extra information in here. So I'm going to need to do a little transforming of the data. I'll click on transform data here and I'll create a connection to this table that works well for me. That means I'll remove the top row of the data and that means that I will use this option to use the first row as headers. So now I have a beautiful table of data being pulled from that other piece of information. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load this not directly to my spreadsheet, but instead simply load it as a connection. Click on close and load to and choose to create only a connection and hit OK. And now when I save this spreadsheet, I want you to notice that the size of this spreadsheet has barely changed. It's gone from 9 kilobytes to 14 kilobytes to have a connection to this 27 and a half megabyte file. Now what I'll do is I'll actually use this to pull the relevant data. I'll double click on transactions. Now, when I'm back in Power Query here, notice that I have a queries panel here on the left hand side and this query is called transactions. I'm going to double click here and do something like all transactions 2010 through 2019 so that we know what that query is all about. Then we'll use this as a source. We'll right click on this query, we'll reference that query and that'll be our starting point for the 2018 SMB transactions because that's the only information I actually need. Here I'll go to my sale date drop down menu and filter for those entries between 1 1 of 2018 and 12 31 of 2018. Whoops, put 21 in there. 12 31 of 2018 and click OK. And then I'll go over to the type of customer and I'll filter out all the enterprise customers. And if I have any extraneous information like these empty columns over here on the side, I can always right click and remove those columns. And if I have information that's not necessarily pertinent, like for example, I might not need the customer's phone number or the employee's ID number. I can always select those columns and remove those columns as well. So I'm getting it down to only the information that's actually relevant for this spreadsheet. Now I can choose close and load, load this directly to the page as a table. So I can put it into this existing worksheet here in this cell on the spreadsheet 
and click OK. And now I have a table that's being derived from another spreadsheet that's the filtered information. And as you can see, it's instead of 300,000 rows, only 13,000 rows. And with this, when I save this spreadsheet and I go look at the file size of the spreadsheet, I recognize that I'm still under a megabyte in file size. And what's beautiful is that this is consistently being updated from the sales record spreadsheet and not something that I have to worry about whether it's accurate at any given moment in time.